What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here, back again with another episode of my budget series here on Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And today, guys, the position that we are taking a look at is arguably the most important position in all of football, and that is quarterback. So, the things that we have to look at, of course, there are all kinds of different things with the quarterback position. We'll go into that. I've got some running quarterbacks for you guys. I've got some pocket passers. I've got some higher budget players. Not, you know, they're still low priced overall, but uh, some also guys that are pretty darn cheap, under 5,000 coins for you. And uh, we'll take a look at all those today. Now, if you're looking for another position, say, you know, a safety or a cornerback or running back or anything like that, please be sure to hit the annotation that is in this video right now. If you're on your computer, if you're on a mobile device, be sure to click into the description of the video. I'll have a link to this playlist that contains all of the, the positions that I've done. We're almost through this entire series, so just about every position has been talked about at some point, so go check that out, and I think you'll find some good information at some of the the other positions. Now, if you are enjoying this video at any point in time, please be sure to give it the thumbs up. That's how we grow this channel. It's how we get this information out. So I would appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much in advance for that. Now, let's hop in and take a look at our very first quarterback comparison. And the one that we're going to be taking a look at first is our mobile quarterbacks. Now, on the left-hand side of your screen, you're going to see a lesser-priced player. On the right-hand side of your screen, we're going to see a higher-priced player. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that I'm talking about the lower-priced player being better than the higher-priced player, but we're trying to compare them. We're trying to find guys who are good at a lower price. So that's kind of what we're talking about. Again, doesn't necessarily mean that they're better than the higher price guy, but we just compare them for the sake of, you know, trying to compare them to a higher, more expensive car so you can kind of see what you're getting for your money and what the big differences are. So first things first, let's take a look at the actual attributes that we're going to be discussing today. Now, this is just for the mobile quarterbacks. We'll have a little bit of a different setup with the pocket passers, but uh, a lot of different things that we have to look at with the mobile quarterbacks. First thing, speed acceleration, then we've got throw power, throw accuracy short, throw accuracy medium, throw accuracy deep, and then throw on the run, play action, and then we go into some of the actual running attributes, which are trucking, spin move, juke move, carrying, and elusiveness. So again, guys, obviously, if you're new to this thing, the, the green is going to mean that that card has the higher attribute, yellow means that they're exactly the same, and red means that it's lower. So obviously, you can see here in this first comparison, we've got a decent little mixture here of kind of the, the green attributes the red and then the yellow so card on the left Walter Payton this is from the frozen tundra set or the uh whatever it's called the the uh they're out of position cards in this case but they're from like your presents that you got during the holiday season and uh this one is Walter Payton 87 overall guys if you saw any of my videos in Madden 25 Walter Payton was one of my absolute favorite players to utilize at the quarterback position now if you're new to Madden 15 ultimate team yes there is a Walter Payton quarterback card you're not reading that incorrectly this is kind of a series that Madden did to, I don't know, they just wanted to throw in some extra cards and, and throw in some guys that didn't necessarily play the position that they've got, but maybe they had a couple epic plays playing that position at some point in time. So, you know, at some point you might see like a Julian Edelman quarterback card or something like that because he threw that nice pass a couple of weeks ago in the playoffs. So, you know, just that kind of thing. It's just kind of a fun thing that they do. They've got some other players playing tight end, some players playing wide receiver. I think Russell Wilson actually has a wide receiver card as well. But uh, yeah, we're going to be comparing this Walter Payton, which goes for about 13,000 coins at the moment, to this 24 hours only Football Outsiders Limited Edition Russell Wilson 95 overall. This thing's currently going for about 400,000 coins. So we're talking 35, 40 times as expensive. And let's kind of compare the two of these and see if it's really worth it to make that upgrade. So first things first, speed and acceleration. When you're talking about mobile quarterbacks, obviously those things are important. And your quarterback Walter Payton card is a little bit faster in the actual speed attribute. But he's interestingly a little bit slower in acceleration. That's going to kind of even out between these two players. They're about the same as far as speed goes. I don't think you're going to notice a drastic speed difference between them. Now when it comes to actually throwing the football 
obviously this is where your Russell Wilson card is going to be significantly better. He has a nice throw power at 94. His throw accuracy short is very good as well at a 92, whereas Walter Payton is sticking down there at an 89 with the throw accuracy short. Throw accuracy mid is kind of, it's it's a bigger difference, but still not substantial. Uh, the throw accuracy mid for Walter Payton at an 85, whereas it's at a 91 for Russell Wilson. And then the big difference is when you start to throw the ball deep, obviously a running back playing quarterback is not going to be able to throw that accurately deep. So he only has an 80 throw accuracy deep, whereas Russell Wilson, one of the better attributes right now in this game, uh, as far as your mobile quarterbacks go, 94 for the throw accuracy deep. Very, very good card for throwing the football is Russell Wilson. Uh, frankly, one of the best quarterbacks in this game overall, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you could definitely make a case that it is one of the absolute best. So uh, not trying to, to say that this Russell Wilson isn't good by any means, but when you compare it in terms of the price, again, that's kind of what we're trying to do with these cards. So uh, in my opinion, obviously Walter Payton is, uh, he's not going to be able to throw the football as effectively as your Russell Wilson, but... I do think that he has good enough throwing attributes to still be a decent passer. And I can tell you from utilizing him in my own games that I haven't really seen him miss a lot of passes. Frankly, my uh, Randall Cunningham missed almost as many passes as Walter Payton does. So to me, it's not that substantial of a difference between these two uh, as far as the, the throwing attributes go. I mean, obviously the numbers would say that they are, but to me, I just, uh, I'll tell you, I haven't seen a huge difference between the two of them. But uh, throw on the run is something that I, I found it a little bit interesting that Walter Payton's actually higher. He has a 90 in that attribute, whereas Russell Wilson checks in at only an 89. And then your play action pass. This one, I, I'm not really all that surprised that Russell or that uh, Walter Payton only has a 77 in that attribute. But obviously, Russell Wilson significantly better at a 93, so he is going to be able to sell that play action, catch those linebackers, those defensive backs, and those safeties out of uh, coverage, and uh, really get the ball deep to his receivers when they beat him deep. So uh, obviously, again, Russell Wilson significantly better passer. Now, when we actually talk about running the football with your quarterback which is kind of what this is focused on, being that we're talking about the mobile quarterbacks. Yeah, Walter Payton is substantially better. First thing, obviously, the trucking. Being that he is a running back by nature, he's got a 91 trucking attribute. There is not anything that is going to compare to that. Russell Wilson is actually decent for a quarterback, but he's only 47 in that attribute. That is a massive massive difference. You can certainly go out there and lower your shoulder and lower the boom onto these linebackers, these DBs, if you're if you're Walter Payton. If you're Russell Wilson and you're trying to do a truck, you are going to get absolutely murdered and probably fumble. So I would very, very highly recommend not doing that. Their spin move between these two cards is actually, interestingly enough, exactly the same at an 85. Juke move is a little bit better for Walter Payton at a 90 versus an 87. Now, again, the carrying this is where Walter Payton, being that he's a running back, is substantially better. I love utilizing him running because I don't need to worry about him fumbling. I never need to slide. I never need to do anything like that. I lower the shoulder. I do spin moves. I do juke moves with him, and he does an amazing job. It's pretty much like running with a running back, which is what he is, so that makes sense. And again, the 87 elusiveness, substantially better as well than Russell Wilson. So again, I'm not trying to say necessarily that Walter Payton is better than Russell Russell Wilson, but I certainly think that if you're somebody who runs with your quarterback a lot, he is somebody that you could definitely utilize as your starting quarterback and get some great production out of, not just as a runner, but he also has decent enough throwing attributes as well. So let's move on now to our second comparison of the video. And this one, again, is going to be mobile quarterbacks, but we're talking about a little bit lower of a budget. So in this case, we're only talking about 3,000 coins on the left side of your screen for Mike Vick. And this is the gold Mike Vick base set. And he is going to go for, like I said, about 3,000 coins, whereas Randall Cunningham, 50,000 coins. He is 92 overall. This is the elite legend, Randall Cunningham. And I know there are a couple different versions of this card, but uh, I just tried to average it out. Unfortunately, because we're talking about multiple different systems with the PS3, PS4, 360, and Xbox One, the prices kind of differentiate between those to, from console to console. And unfortunately, I can't really give you an exact price. But what I will tell you is it's a about 50,000 coins from console to console. So uh, again, 
we're comparing the same attributes here, and obviously you're going to see that Randall Cunningham is better in passing. He's got the higher accuracy kind of across the board, uh, but I thought it was interesting that he is not as substantially better in passing as I thought he would be. The throw power between these two items is exactly identical. The throw accuracy short for Randall Cunningham is an 89, which is pretty good, uh, but it's not elite. Throw accuracy mid is 85, so he's 7 higher in the mid, 9 higher in the short, and then their deep accuracy, I was kind of interested to see, Vic, yeah, actually has an 87 throw accuracy deep. So if you're somebody that likes to throw the ball deep, and you're somebody that likes to run a lot of play action, which I would recommend with this card, Mike Vic is going to be able to, to get that ball deep to your wide receivers, and especially considering he has an 87 for a play action, whereas Randall Cunningham's only got an 81. Now, his throw on the run is a little bit low at an 87. Uh, that's not to say that that's a bad attribute, but it's a little bit lower than some of the other elite mobile quarterbacks. Obviously, Randall Cunningham with a 94 throw on the run. I mean, you can pretty much be running at a full sprint with Randall Cunningham. If, as long as you're throwing to the side that is his dominant hand, which is to his right, you're going to do a decent job throwing the football on the run. Obviously, with Mike Vick, you do have to consider that he is a left-handed quarterback. That is not for everybody. Trust me. If you're somebody that's used to right-handed quarterbacks, you try to make that transition to to a left-handed quarterback, you do have to think about it, you, especially when you're on the run. You do not want to be out there throwing the ball, running to your right, and throwing the ball with your left hand. You're going to throw terrible passes, probably a lot of interceptions, and certainly a lot of incompletions. So keep that in mind. But Again, Mike Vick has some interesting attributes here that I liked. Uh, number one, obviously, he has decent trucking at a 60. Uh, now, I wouldn't recommend that you truck with Mike Vick, but if you're going up against a cornerback that maybe you know doesn't have a high hit power, it's not the worst idea ever. I mean, you could certainly do worse. The unfortunate thing about Mike Vick is that he only has a 60 for a carrying. That is very, very low for a mobile quarterback. So my personal opinion is that if you're, unless you're going up against somebody that you know is going to play the ball poorly or, you know, a user or something like that, and you can spin or you can juke him out, I would probably recommend, uh, you know, sliding a lot more with Mike Vick than you would even say uh, your Russell Wilson from the previous slide or Randall Cunningham in this case, which he is a 71 for carrying, which is, again, still not great, but certainly better than the 60. So uh, again, I think that there are a lot of things about Mike Vick that make him a good, uh, an overall card, I guess I should say. Um, like I said, great throw power, decent accuracy deep, um, not great, poor accuracy short, which is kind of interesting. But the nice thing is, is that he, being that it is a short pass, most quarterbacks can still make those throws, even if they don't have a great accuracy attribute there. So again, you know, keep that in mind when you're actually comparing these two items. Uh, overall, though, I do think, obviously, Randall Cunningham's the better overall card, but there are some definitely nice things about Mike Vick, and if you're new to the game and you're looking for a mobile quarterback, you're somebody that's used to running around with your quarterback a lot, you could certainly do worse than Mike Vick. He's going to have some great speed for you and uh, certainly going to be able to get the ball down the field to his receivers when he needs to. So that's going to do it for this comparison. Let's take a look now at our third comparison, and this is where we're going to start to get into some of the pocket passers. And the guys that we're going to be comparing here are on the left-hand side of your screen, Team of the Week, Matt Stafford, which is going for about 12,000 coins. Thankfully, this card is actually still pretty easy to find on the auction block or on the trade block. Uh, I was able to find it very, very easily. There were like three or four of them available on PlayStation 4 when I looked. Um, sometimes they, the team of the weeks are not as available, so I try not to use them in my videos. But in this case, he, like I said, was pretty well available, so I decided to keep him in the game or in the in the video, excuse me. So, uh, and then we're going to be comparing that Matt Stafford 86 overall gold that goes for about 12,000 coins to the team of the year brand new. New Ben Roethlisberger Elite 95 overall. This thing's going for about 50,000 coins. Now, obviously, you're not going to expect that a card that's 86 overall is going to be better than the card that's 95 overall, especially when we're talking about kind of the same type of player being a pocket passer. But I think that these cards are a lot closer than a lot of people would expect. First of all, the speed and acceleration, they're pretty much the same. Uh, it's pretty much a wash between them. Matt Stafford's one speed lower, but he's two acceleration faster, so pretty much a wash there. The throw power is pretty much a wash as well, but what I will say is that these are both absolutely elite attributes. 99 
throw power for Matt Stafford, 98 throw power for Big Ben. So uh, unbelievable throw power for both these guys. They're going to be able to get the ball pretty much anywhere down the field, and, and you have to love that. So uh, definitely love that out of these two cards. Now the throw accuracy short for Matt Stafford, still very good at a 92, and his throw accuracy mid is a 90, which is still very good as well. Obviously, Big Ben is going to be higher with a 96 and a 92 in those attributes. Now the one thing that I worry about with Matt Stafford is that he does only have an 83 throw accuracy deep. So despite the fact that he has one of the best arms in the game, if not the best arm in the game at this moment, yeah, he doesn't really have great accuracy with that arm. So that can be a dangerous thing, obviously, if you're throwing it into coverage or if you're throwing it at a guy who uh, maybe isn't as tall and can't jump up and get the ball. You kind of want to consider that a little bit with Matt Stafford. But what I will tell you is that I haven't seen a whole lot of uh, these throw accuracy deep attributes really being that substantial. This game is so, it's so easy to throw the ball effectively in this game, you know, in, in terms of accuracy. You barely ever see incompletions in this game. Like, it, for the most part, it's either you throw the ball perfectly and it hits the receiver in the hands, or they throw it just completely uh, at the, uh, the opposing team's defense. So, like, it's kind of one of those two things. And to me, I just really haven't seen the the accuracy attributes be as important as some other people like to make them out to be. Now, I'm not going to say that they're not important by any means. I just don't think that they're quite as important as, say, the throw power by itself, for example. Now, the throw on the run attribute, this is something that Ben is just ridiculous at. 99 throw on the run, and obviously he's known for being able to move out of the pocket and make throws on the run. But what I will say is that if you're running around with Big Ben, if you're holding that sprint button, you should probably reconsider using Ben Roethlisberger because if you're if you're using him as a running quarterback, to me, you just have the wrong guy. I mean, not to say that he isn't going to be able to throw the ball accurately if you do that, but there's really not a big threat of Big Ben running the football. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So uh, that's why I took off those attributes, all of your running attributes with these these pocket passers. I don't really think about them even because if you're trying to run the football on a regular basis with any of these pocket passers, you're doing it wrong. Go out there and get a mobile quarterback if you want to run with your quarterback. These guys are meant to sit in the pocket, maybe move around just a little bit, but certainly don't be sprinting with them and throwing on the run. That's just not what I would recommend with any of these guys. And then uh, finally, your play action pass. Matt Stafford is actually higher. I was surprised to see Big Ben only down there at an 82 in this attribute. Kind of caught me off guard. I was expecting to see him more in the 90s, possibly in the mid-90s. I don't know if there's something that people uh, say about Big Ben that makes him not, you know, he doesn't hide the ball well when he's doing play action, or I've never heard anything like that. So, like I said, I was surprised to see this attribute be so low. But, uh, again, still a decent card here uh, for Matt Stafford. Good card for Big Ben. Obviously, again, I'm not trying to say Matt Stafford's better, but for the price, considering he's about a quarter of the price, I think you could make a case that if you're trying to build a budget squad, Matt Stafford might be the way to go here. So, last comparison. Let's compare these two guys. Uh, again, talking about a little bit of a cheaper budget here. We're talking about 3,500 coins for Andy Dalton on the left-hand side of your screen. This is an 85 overall gold Andy Dalton road to the playoffs. And we're comparing him to the Team of the Week hero, Aaron Rodgers, 91 overall. Now, again, this card is fairly easy to find, so that's why I still put it in the video. But either way, um, Aaron Rodgers, 40,000 coins. Pretty low priced, actually, considering he is one of the better quarterbacks in the game, in my opinion, uh, as far as his overall attributes go. But what I will say is that I think Andy Dalton is a very good price. For what you get out of your quarterback, there is a lot that you could say about Andy Dalton. Let's talk about, first of all, the speed. Obviously, in Aaron Rodgers' favor here, he's seven faster in speed, seven faster in acceleration. But again, I'm not really that worried about these quarterbacks as far as their speed goes. I'm not trying to run with these guys. What I'm trying to do is stay in the pocket. So, throw power, 90 for Andy Dalton. I was kind of impressed by that. I was not expecting that to be that high. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers at a 96. He's one of the best deep ball throwers in the game. Throw accuracy short. These guys are almost identical in that attribute. 92 for Andy Dalton, 93 for Aaron Rodgers. And then in the mid, Andy Dalton's actually a better accuracy thrower for the mid 
passes. And that that really caught my eye because he's at a 90, whereas Aaron Rodgers is at an 88. And then again, they're almost identical at throw accuracy deep, 89 to a 90. So overall, their accuracy, almost identical. Obviously, like I said, Aaron Rodgers better with throw power by six. But again, we're talking about a card that is, you know, quite a few times more expensive, 13 times almost more expensive for Aaron Rodgers than Andy Dalton. So that's something definitely to think about here. Your play action attribute, Aaron Rodgers checks in at an 86, whereas Andy Dalton's at an 88. Thought that was a little bit interesting as well. And then their throw on the run attribute, pretty close at an 84 to an 87 in Aaron Rodgers' favor. So again, overall, these cards are actually a lot closer than I think the prices would tell you. 85 overall Andy Dalton, one of the better cheap quarterbacks in this game. If you're looking for a pocket passer, I would highly recommend him. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. I went a little bit long on this one, but like I said, quarterback, in my opinion, is so very, very important. That's why I wanted to go into all these attributes, talk about these things, and tell you kind of why I chose these cards. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, also be sure to hit the subscribe button. If there are any cards out there that you would like to recommend to other people as far as budget cards, I would like that as well if you guys would leave those in the comments section below and tell me why it is that you like these cards. Don't just say, I I played with him and he played well. Tell me what attribute it is specifically that you like about that card and, and tell me why you think it's underpriced. Why is it better than what the price would indicate? Thank you guys in advance for doing that. I do appreciate it. Thanks for all the support you guys give me on these videos. It's awesome. I really do love it. It means a lot to me. So thank you again and I'll talk to you guys again soon.